orchids are an unusual plant. There are many types of orchids and some of them are epiphytes. Epiphytes are plants that grow on other plants. That is why they have unusual roots. They are called air. Orchids are attached to other plants with the help of these roots. Some people love aerial roots, some don't, especially when there are too many of them. But the opinion, like it or not, is inappropriate here. First of all, you need to know what type of orchid you have. Terrestrial orchids, on the other hand, do not have aerial roots. All their roots should be buried in the soil. Phalaenopsis, Catlis, Oncidium, Dendrobium have a lot of aerial roots. It is natural for epiphytic orchids to grow aerial roots in all directions. But calling the roots outside the pot aerial roots is a misnomer. Since epiphytic orchids do not grow in soil, all of their roots are in fact aerial roots. The aerial roots expression is therefore used just for ease of conversation to differentiate the roots growing outside the pot from those growing inside. Both the aerial roots and the potted roots have the same anatomy. Both are covered by one or multiple layers of element on the outside. The quantity of roots outside the pot does not indicate problems. But there are reasons for this situation. Orchid shoots roots in different directions to gain a foothold on something, as it happens in nature. Orchid is healthy. The higher the humidity in the room, the more aerial roots the orchid will grow to absorb the moisture in the air. Maybe the orchid has not been repotted in a while and there is no more growing space in the pot. How to care for my orchid's aerial roots? You don't need to give them any special care. But if the humidity level is lower than 40% and the temperature is high, the aerial roots will stop growing and may even shrivel up. Can orchid air roots be trimmed? Healthy roots shouldn't be cut to serve as backup in case of root rot and to prevent infection. Trimming the aerial roots could cause the plant to struggle or even die. Therefore, you should know that all aerial roots are very important for an orchid.